First of all, I would like to say thank you for giving me your time to present my company to you and to prove that building one of our centers on your island is a good thing to do for everyone, not just our company. And first I will say that Amer ICAN is part of the Geologic Education and Warning Initiative. And Amera ICAN is a geologic based company that creates geologic education centers for the public in order to prepare the public for any geologic event that occurs where they live and to enlighten them about different geologic fields like paleontology, volcanology, seismology, and uh, tsunami, other effects of that those fields. Uh, the first one we'll be talking about today is paleontology, which is the study of fossilized organized organisms from Earth's past. Our facilities are equipped with a wing solely for paleontological information for the area in which it was built. For example, um, ones in Wisconsin, for example, would have mammoth bones in them and information on the mammoths, migration patterns, and all of that. Uh, another study is volcanology, which is the study of volcanoes. As you can tell from this picture, volcanoes can be pretty explosive. Some dangers of volcanoes are lava flows, which can range in speed and Danger, the amount of danger they pose to human life. But all volcanoes that have lava flows will damage the population's uh, like living environment. Another example of why volcanoes are dangerous is because they can have pyroclastic flows which are giant ash clouds that hug the earth. Uh, these can cause extensive damage to properties and other buildings, but they can also have a severe effect on the population by putting minute pieces of glass into people's lungs, which make people die pretty much. Another danger of volcanoes is lahars. Lahars are created when ash combines with precipitation like rain or snow, and then they combine to create a cement-like mixture, which can cause houses to collapse, can cause houses to be buried, can cause people to be buried alive, and that is not good. So one of the reasons that I believe an Ameri-Ken Center should be put onto your island is because the early warning of eruptions can really help people survive and there's the research into previous volcanic eruptions and the effect those have had on the surrounding environment, including people. Um, you can also learn likely eruption flow directions from our centers, and you can predict lahar locations so that if a volcanic eruption was to happen, you could evacuate people from those areas first so that they won't get trapped in the lahars. Some dangers to Puerto Rico from tectonic movement would be earthquakes. Earthquakes happen around the world, but a lot of places aren't well prepared for them. With our state-of-the-art center built on your island and our latest sensors put into the surrounding oceans, we would be able to allow your population to be more prepared for earthquakes and more people would survive. Here I have an example of 
an unpreparedness. In 2011, there was a massive earthquake in Japan. Japan had the early warning system, which allowed them to detect the earthquake and alert people, but it, their citizens were not as organized as they should have been for the tsunami and earthquake and all the aftermath that happened, including the nuclear reactor, which almost overheated and blew. Um, early, another example of an earthquake would be that earlier this year there was an earthquake located north of Puerto Rico in the Puerto Rican Trench that caused buildings in San Juan to shake and for minor damage to occur to the buildings. Now just imagine if a stronger earthquake hit, what would happen to the buildings in San Juan, what would happen to the people in San Juan if they were in buildings that were not safe. So the necessity of an MRI Ken Center would be for earthquakes would be that you'd be able to get the early warning for the earthquakes and you'd, your population would be prepared. Uh, we'd also have an injury prevention educational program that would outline like if an earthquake happened where would you go to be most likely not to get hurt? Um, we would also create data and maps of where the more susceptible areas for building collapse and damages from earthquakes occurring locations so that you would be prepared and figure out how to stabilize those areas when the build things come. Like for example, if you were going to build a building in that section, would you put like springs, some kind of suspension in it so that when the earthquake happened, the building wouldn't collapse? And we'd also be able to estimate the costs of repair in such that an earthquake hits and you need to repair the building. How much would it cost? How much would it cost to fix all the gas lines that broke? How much would it cost to get people into medical centers and get help? Now, I'm going to talk about a side effect from earthquakes that most people don't think about when they're living on the ocean. A tsunami is created when a body of water is displaced, which means that when an earthquake occurs, it displaces a certain amount of water, creating massive waves that overtake certain defenses. Like this picture right here is of the tsunami in Japan when that earthquake in 2011 occurred. It overflowed over their retaining wall and went into the city. And tsunamis can cause more damage than the earthquake themselves. As you can tell here, there's water inside the city making it impossible for people to get help and it causes more damage, more money spent, and it takes longer for the city to recover when there is a tsunami. For example, during the earthquake in Japan, uh, the Lions Club donated $1.2 million to fix the city that were affected, but it still wasn't enough to completely fix them. Now, a necessity of an American Center is that we would be able to put tsunami buoy detection systems all around the island, which would allow for our centers on the island to get an immediate detection of when a massive amount of water is displaced, giving you time to alert the proper people and get people out of the way. Uh, we'd also have tsunami emergency training, which would entail probably like one once a in six months, we would have your population 
do an evacuation plan to get to higher ground just so that if a tsunami did hit, they would be able to get out of the line of fire. And I'd like to thank you for giving me this time to present to you, and I hope that you keep Amer ICANN in your mind, and thank you for this time.